Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Noteworthy Life, and in this video, I'm going to show you what I think is an update to the way page linking works in OneNote. I'm filming with OneNote for Windows 10 on a desktop, so if your screen looks different than mine, it might be because you're using a different device or version of OneNote. So I got this question submitted to me, and it said, when I use the double square brackets to create a link to another page, OneNote always creates a new page of that name, even though I already have a page with that name, and I'm certain there are no spelling mistakes. How can I create a link to an existing page? Before we go any further, I do want to mention that I love answering your questions. You can drop a comment on this or any video and I'll do my best to answer your question. I often end up making a video about your questions, so I consider that a win-win. So first I'm going to show you the double brackets shortcut that the person was referring to, and then the problem he was having will be more clear. So you can use two pairs of square brackets to create a new page and a link to that page in one step. On my keyboard, the square brackets are above and to the left of the Enter key. I'm going to show you this by creating a new link to a page called Basketball. Okay, so you can see right here, we have a new page called Basketball. And on my existing page that we're looking at on my screen right now, I have an underlined link to that. And it does have a dotted line. I'm going to get to that in a second. But if I click that link, it takes me to the page we just created called Basketball. Now, the reason this link has a dotted line, it's because there's no content on the new page we just created. So I'm going to just create some content. And when I go back to that link, you can now see that it's uh, the underline is now solid. So if we go back to the original question, what this person was seeing was that when they tried to use the double brackets to create a link to a page that already existed, that he would get a new page with the same name. And at the time this question came in, which was a couple of month, months ago, so in the spring of 2021, I was having the same problem and I was able to answer the question because I was having the same problem and I had figured it out. But when I went to film this, and we're now in the summer of 2021, I found out that when I use the double brackets, I can now link to an existing page. So um, I believe there was an update sometime between the spring and now. So you may or may not see this problem depending on what device or version you're using and if you have or have not gotten this update. So I'm going to show you how to use the double brackets to create a link to an existing page. And then I'm also going to show you an alternative way to link to pages in case you can't use the double brackets or if you want your link to display text other than the page name. So let's go back to that demo page and I will show you how to create a link to an existing page. So uh, I'm going to create a link to the page that's in this section. It's on your screen. It's called the question. So I'm going to do my double brackets. And I'm going to very deliberately not use the initial caps. And the reason for that is I want to show you that um, it does take us to the correct page. We're on the page called the question, but the initial caps don't matter. Um, you can see here in my page name list, I do have initial caps. When I created the link here on your screen, I did not use the initial caps. So I just did that to show you that the capitalization doesn't matter. And you can see that with this updated linking feature, we can use the double brackets to create a link to an existing page. Um, now, as a final piece, I just want to show you the kind of longhand way to create a link. Um, in, like I said, in case the double brackets don't work, or if you want to display text other than the page name. I am going to, on this page, I'm going to create a link to the very first page in this section, which is called link to new versus existing page. I'm going to go to this page and right click it. And I'm going to um, click on this, which is copy link to page. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to paste it. And when, when we do that, you can see that it called it by the exact page name. So this is a link to that page. And I'm going to show you by clicking it. It goes back to our video uh, opener page. 
and the text that's displayed for the link is the exact name of the page. Now there's one other thing you can do, which it like, let's say I wanted to call that, I, I wanted to create a link, but have it read thumbnail as in video thumbnail. So I'm going to type the word thumbnail and I'm going to highlight it and click insert. We have link and then you've probably seen this text box or uh, on other apps like Word or even if you've ever uh, written on a website or something like that. So the text to display is the word thumbnail and I'm going to paste that address that we just copied. So now I have a, it says thumbnail, but I can click it and get to that opening page. And so that's it for today. A quick update on linking to existing pages. I'm really happy to have this update because it does save quite a few keystrokes when you want to link to an existing page. If you want to see more OneNote tutorials like this, as well as content on personal organization, goal setting, planning, and GTD or getting things done, please hit the subscribe button and let me know you like this by hitting the like button. If you have any qu questions that you think I could answer, add those to the comments of this or any video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.